Yep, that's what I thought. He's a handful. This guy is a handful. This is on medication. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to show a full day of dogs today. I have 10 dogs all by myself. Uh, all right, so here are the dogs so far. We have Mr. Henry. We have Miss Birdie, we have Mr. Wrangler, and Mr. Winston. I am waiting for one more dog to get here. They were supposed to be here at 9. It's 9.14. Uh, we do have a low, late show up, um, no show policy. So if they're not here by 9.30, they're going to be marked as a no show and charged. All right, so all the dogs are here for morning drop off. There's five. We have Snickers, Birdie, Henry, Winston, and Wrangler. I'm going to start with Winston because I have to shave him down before I can bathe him. The owners requested as short as possible, leaving a doodle head. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to get his weight first. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. There we go. All the way up. Nope. Sit. No. 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 Come on, bud. Stay on there. All right. 80 pounds. Okay. So I am going to show you how I tie these on because sometimes on these bigger dogs, it's just easier to leave these leads on. So I wrap it around once, wrap it around twice, and then I make a four and tie it. This guy is very nervous, um, probably does not get as groomed as often as he should. And so, understandably, he's anxious. I'm gonna start with the nails. Since he's on the table, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done, if he'll let me. I just had this plugged in, it said it was okay. Sorry guys, real life. All right. No, 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 you're okay. You're okay, Winston. Thankfully these nails are not very long, Winston. I mean, they're long, but the quick part. Um, this is another reason why it is very important to bring your dogs in for regular grooming. Not only is this dog really anxious, but these quicks are extremely long. Feeling for a dew claw, I don't feel one. Nope. You're okay. You're okay, Winston. Winston, buddy. The more often you bring your dog in when they're young, the more acclimated and used to grooming that they're going to become. Short strokes with a Dremel because it does get hot. Nope. You're okay. Oh boy. This guy is gonna be some work. No, come on, bud. No. No. 
Winston, you're okay. You're okay. Winston. <sighs> Very anxious. Would probably benefit from some vet prescribed medication and regular grooming. bud. Winston, you're okay. Oh my gosh, we got one nail left. Come on, bud. Okay, I'm not gonna try anymore. Looks like he's been walking on some herbicide. Um, dog should be kept off wet herbicide. Okay, now... I'm gonna take a 30 blade and attempt to do these paw pads. Gonna do the best I can on them. You're okay. Oh man. Oh man. He is proving to be very difficult. I gotta scoot up, but When we do have difficult dogs like this, we do charge accordingly. It does take more time, more energy, more effort to get them safely groomed. After the groom, we do make recommendations for the owners. If we feel they need vet prescribed medication, we will tell them that. If they need to come in more often, we will tell them that. And then we'll write it on the card so next time we know that we told them that. This is a 30. Go ahead and just shave some of this. His ears are pretty matted. Okay, 
I'm gonna switch to a 15. I know, bud. Do his sanitary, which needs to be done. Just poop in his coat. I'm gonna do a full sanitary. Okay, I'm gonna turn him. Do the other side. I'm sorry if you can't see. Getting the groom done safely is first priority and then video is second. There are some that forget that. My first job is grooming. My second job is YouTube. Shave pretty high up on the sanitary. So why do most doodles get shaved down? It's because of this. Most of them come in, they're severely anxious, they haven't been groomed in four to six months when they should be coming in every four to six weeks. And so they have to be shaved down because they're matted or that's because what the owner wants. And we do what the owner wants unless we feel it's a risk to the dog or we physically can't do it because of behavior or some other reason. Seven blade. This is pretty thick. This up so I can just sweep it into. So we shave before the bath one He's matted. If we bathe the matted coat and dry him, it makes the mats tighter. It makes them harder to get off. Two, it uses more time, more energy, more effort, more product, more water, you know, more resources to bathe a long coat if we're just going to shave it off. Now, if I was in a hurry, yes, I would go ahead and bathe him, let him sit in the cage and dry while I started on another dog. But he is my first priority today because right now my next dogs are not coming in until 11. And they won't, the other ones won't take me as long as this guy. So I wanna get him started first. Here at Rovers, we don't do long, fluffy show type cuts where, you know, you have a poodle that's six, eight inches long. We, we just don't have clients that want to pay for that. And we don't have clients that want that. Uh, to have a long coat, to keep the coat this long, it's a lot of at-home work. You cannot just come in 
every four to six months and think that we can brush it out and it's good to go. Um, you know, when, when you want a dog to keep a long coat, you have to work at home to, to, main, to help maintain the coat in between. You know, we are groomers, but unless you're bringing your dog in, you know, once a week for us to brush it out and bathe it and do what it needs to be done, then it's got to be kept in a pretty short coat. You know, I started this channel for education purposes, and I'm going to continue to educate educate on that because I feel there's a lot of misinformation out there. Uh, there's always, since I started the channel, always been comments of, why do you shave all the dogs down? You know, and, and I think the misconception is you see these beautiful, gorgeous dogs on TV, on the dog shows, and expect that all dogs are kept that way, and they're just not. That is unmanageable for pets. You know, back in the day, I had a Shih Tzu that wanted the coat long. They would come in once a week for a brush, brush out in a bath, and eventually, even coming once a week, they still weren't brushing at home, and so eventually I had to shave the dog because it kept coming in matted. And we don't demat. Dematting is painful. It can cause sores and bruises on the skin and it's inhumane. A dog should not have to go through painful brushing. Stand up. You know, dogs are like children. They, need, they have to, you know, you gotta feed them, you have to give them water, you have to brush them, you gotta take them to the doctor, which is the vet. They're not just an animal that you get and, you know, hope it survives. You know, dogs can live 15, 20 years. We have 16, 17, 18 year old dogs come in all the time. They're a full commitment. So I strongly suggest if you're going to get a doodle, you're going to get a poodle, you're going to get a long coated breed that needs to be groomed regularly, please do your research before doing so. You need to account grooming expenses, training expenses if needed. I highly recommend at least basic obedience. And I highly recommend crate training. We have some dogs that come in that are so difficult to get in a cage, it becomes a safety hazard. You know, crate training is not bad. It's not leaving your dog in a cage for hours and hours every day. Especially for puppies, it, it becomes a safe place. It's like their home. You, you keep them in there an hour, you let them out to go play outside for 15, 20 minutes, and that's how you potty train a dog efficiently. It teaches them, hey, you know, we don't, we don't pee or poop in our cage and we go potty outside. You know, you can let your dog run around the house or whatever, but until they're fully potty trained and can fully be trusted not to be in a cage, I, that's, that's the number one way to potty training is crate training. Crate training has a biz, big misconception about it too. It's not just leaving your dog in, in a cage all day. That's abuse, that's neglect. We're gonna see if we can save his head. If it is matted, his ears are definitely gonna to have to be shaved. <sighs> if his head is matted, um, I will keep it as long as I can, but not going to cause undue pain to him to undo it, to undo the matting. 
Good boy. He's starting to calm down a little bit, starting to get used to what we're doing. So the reason we don't sit here and we're not like, oh, good boy, oh yeah, so sweet, is it gets them riled up. It gets them hyped up and it makes the grooming process more difficult. A lot of people will say, oh, you seem so cold to the dogs. Why don't you love on them and you know, be all over them when you're grooming them? I have a job to do and I don't have time to sit here and get all ooey gooey when I'm working with sharp objects. Now, after the groom, of course, we give them lots of loves. We give them treats if they're allowed to have treats. But during the groom, it's a safety hazard to get them all riled up and hyped up. Um, it's just not safe. Now at home, if you wanna do that with your own dog, that is perfectly fine. You have one dog and it's your dog and you know that dog. That's another problem or, or issue that comes up is we don't know the dog we're working on until it's been in several times. You know, almost a year of grooming before we really get to know a dog. The ones that have been coming to me easy for three or four years, you know, since I opened, I know them like the back of my hand. I know what triggers them. I know what they like. I know what they don't like. And so I know how to talk to them without getting them all hyped up. That noise is it trying to go through matting and it couldn't go through. You're okay, boy. Nope. You're gonna stay over there. If I say good boy or good job every five minutes, it loses its meaning. Not only that, it gets annoying for you to listen to. Lots of matting under here. Easy, easy boy, easy boy. We're almost done with this. Okay, so I'm gonna have him sit if he'll sit. Sit, sit, okay. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna lower this. I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna do around his head, do his ears. Put your head up. That is it's struggling to get through mats. Matting where the collar has been.
Nope, I'm not going to lay down. Have an, about an hour before other people start coming in. Okay, turn this way, but just a little bit. Uh, you're okay. No. No. I'm stay over here. You're okay. Good boy. Okay, so there's a ponytail up here. I don't feel any severe matting on this face. I am going to cut it pretty short though. Um, when we get done with the bath, I'm gonna brush it out. Little brush, come here. Winston, come here, bud. You're okay. Gonna really focus on washing this head when we get him in the tub. Okay, so I am going to, Winston, Winston. I am going to trim this. I trim down the nose on doodles. Again, we all learn differently. I like them to be able to see. I think it looks neater and they're able to see longer if there's no hair right here on the bridge of the nose. That goes for schnauzers too. Is that going against AKC standards on the schnauzer? Yes, but these are pet schnauzers and most, probably 90% of my clients like the beard on schnauzers short and they like this, the shaved nose so the dog can see for longer. A lot of times we will see people come in, they bring their dog in and they've cut all around in here and here on top of here and we have to try to match it and then let it grow out to be able to fix it okay so now we're going to do the ears if he will allow me and then we'll get him in the tub i was talking to someone yesterday you know, they knew I had a grooming business and they were like, yeah, we go to the groomers, we get our dog shaved down once or twice a year. And I was just like, once or twice a year? You know, I don't say anything, it's their dog, but I'm like, what? No, no, no. You're okay. Can you sit? All that hair out of the ear. I will flush these ears. So as part of grooming, cleaning their ears, all that hair in there does not allow the ear to breathe. Hi, I haven't even done anything yet, bud. It's okay. When we twist it, it gets all that deep hair that's down deep in there. Yes, it's a little bit painful, but is it necessary? Yes. I will flush his ears in the bath, and then I will put our triple cream in his ears to prevent ear infection from the micro tears that happen when you clean out the ears. I will go over what is in the triple cream when I put it in. You're okay. Oh, you're okay. Good boy. All right, I'm gonna get him in the tub. Come on, let's go. Hop up.
There you go. Same thing, put him close, wrap it around twice, make a four, make a knot. Turn, I tr always turn the water on the hottest so it gets hot quick. And then I will switch it to clean, have our bathing system going with diluted shampoo. We're using the bather box. Everything I use in this video is going to be linked down below. Okay. I'm gonna get him all wet and then I will start scrubbing. This just allows his coat to start soaking with shampoo, start breaking down the grime. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna flush his ears. This is just ear cleaner. He's not going to like it, but it is necessary. You're okay. Good boy. Okay. I'm going to finish bathing him now. He will go in what we call the quiet room to dry. With the bathing system, it's a clean, continuous soapy water that's coming out. So as I scrub, it's rubbing, it's washing away any dirt and debris, so it's not sitting on the coat. I compare it to a, you know, an electric toothbrush versus a manual toothbrush. With an electric toothbrush, it does most of the work for you. The bathing system is the same way. When you hand bathe, it's like manually brushing your teeth. So here's for the fun part. Well, after I do this, his tail's so short. He's got some crusties back here that I'm just working off. Okay, I'm gonna get his head wet. You're okay, Batman. And just going to, you can see how dirty the head is. All that dirt that's coming off. I really wash this well. I'm going to let him bark because he is in protection mode. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse. See Batman. Something he does not like. Hey, 
blue towels. He's gonna get a heavy dose of Shoshin on his head. And then he go in the cage dryer. In the cage to dry. Batman, that's enough, bud. Batman, come on. That's enough. It's probably someone at the car wash. What? What is it? Cleaning out those ears. Okay. So I'm gonna get all these other dogs started and then I will finish him. Started as in bathed and drying. Heavy show sheen. Yeah, I can just tell this dog has not been groomed very much. Come here, bud. Okay, just a little bit on his coat. So before I start on my next dog, I'm just going to clean up my table. I'm not going to clean up the floor. There's no point because I'm just going to get it all dirty again. I'll do that at the end of the day. Okay. Disinfectant. Okay, put these back where they go. I'm going to start on Henry next because he was here first. See what he's barking at. All right, so here's Mr. Henry. We're going to start on the nails, if he's going to be nice. If not, we'll just muzzle. Yep, that's what I thought. He's a handful. This guy is a handful. Um, like I said, uh, he needs to come in every four to six weeks. I may have to refer him out. This is on medication. You're okay. Are you worried, Batman? It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Good boy. It's okay. We'll get through it. Be a little rough, but we'll get through it. Rose has groomed him the last since he started coming in. A 
Okay, um, this is a major safety risk. I'm gonna have to call it. He's gonna have to go home. And it's just gonna have to be that way. I am not going to risk injuring him. I'm not going to risk injuring myself. If I can't even touch his back leg without you know, anything going, it's, it's done. It's a safety risk. I cannot safely use scissors or clippers, even nail clippers. I can't safely use them. So he will have to go home and I will refer them out for a sedated vet groom. Okay, it is currently 1010. This is Miss Birdie. She's a Havanese and she's going to um, get what Rose calls an O. I'll have to look and see what that is. I go by length, um, not like A O E one, two, whatever. Um, but we're just going to start with the nails, paw pads, sanitary ears, then we'll get her bathed. All right. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. So this dog is the sibling to Wrangler, who I will be bathing next. He's just a lab. He just gets a bath and a nail trim. You're okay. Short strokes when you're using the Dremel. Does get hot. Don't forget the two claws. It took me a long, come here girlfriend. It took me a long time to get used to the Dremel. So don't feel like you have to be this fast when you first start. When I first started, I was terrified of even trimming the nails with nail clippers. I was so afraid to nick the, the quick. And eventually I just got over that fear and realized that if I accidentally did it, I had quick stop, I could stop the bleeding and the dog was okay. Um, you, you gotta start somewhere. You know, I, I don't like the saying, practice makes perfect because no one's perfect. So I say practice makes better. And if you don't practice, you're not gonna get any better. So you can start on the lowest setting and just work your way up. And you're just looking for that bullseye. If you have not seen the video of where my friend Edgar shot that video of how you know when to stop on black nails, I'll link it up here. So a very short, precise video. Talks about the bullseye. So before I do every stroke, I'm looking for that bullseye and see, okay. So now I'm gonna get a 30 blade and do the paw pads. So you will notice that Rose is not here today. Um, I am going to leave it up to her if she wants to share what is going on. Um, I'm going to respect her privacy on the channel just like I would with anyone else. She has not been fired. She has not quit. If and when, when and if she wants to talk about it, um, then she can. but I will never ever force someone to talk about personal matters on YouTube because it's just that, it's personal matters. Yes, she's been a part of this channel, but 
I'm not going to force people to, you know, share info. Never force anyone to be on videos. Always ask permission. Always talk about the risks of being on YouTube, um, the negativity around it, etc. Make sure they fully understand what they're getting into before I put them on camera. So the 15. Be very careful with little bitty nipples. Um, I have seen a groomer cut them off. Okay. Now check the ears. Not too bad, just a little bit of hand plucking. We don't need any ear powder. The ear powder just helps us grip that hair. If you like these full length videos of start to finish daily, I know they're gonna be long, but if you want to see more, please let me know down below. I know y'all are very good about telling your opinion. Okay. Going to bathe her in the little tub today. Come here. Hi, sweet girl. Let this water warm up. You're okay. This girl is so sweet. Water in this little tub takes a little bit longer to heat up. Hey, sweet girl. So this car wash nozzle can be found linked down below. It's amazing. It gets out undercoat if that's what you're looking for. Um, this is actually working better than the Save Your Fur undercoat removal at this time because the water pressure is lower here than it was at the old Rovers. And get her all wet. And we'll get started. If you haven't seen the hand bathing versus car wash nozzle video, I'll link it up here. It shows why we use the car wash nozzle and why we don't hand bathe and how it is more efficient in every aspect. Cleaning, resources, time. I'm going to switch this to rinse and then just briefly get her head wet. This is tear free eye wash. Flea comb, get those eye boogers. This coat is very dry. I'm going to take an empty bottle, some conditioner. 
The cut will be better in the end if it's hydrated, softened. Not every dog needs conditioner. They just don't. There's a lot of groomers that charge extra for conditioner and I just think that's ridiculous. If the dog needs conditioner, you should give it conditioner. If you're paying for blueberry facials, they should be doing that anyway because it's tear free. Flea and tick undercoat removal, that's a different story. Flea and tick shampoo and dip is expensive. It's like $80 a gallon. Shampoo, you know, you use on every dog, so you can't charge extra for it. There are some that will charge extra for medicated shampoo or like a specialty shampoo, and I just don't agree with that. We just pick whatever shampoo smells good and works well, and that's what we use. Okay. Yes, I just realized I forgot to do the anal glands. That's okay. And towel dry. What's up? Shoshin. It's a coat conditioner, anti static. Gotta stay hydrated. Okay, so this is Wrangler. He's always been super anxious. Um, I'm gonna do his nails and then do the zoom groom before I bathe him. It's not written on his car that he's difficult. He's just anxious. You're okay. You're okay. Good boy. It's okay. 
He's anxious, but he's good. Um, we don't see that very often. Usually when they're anxious, they're pretty difficult. So I always make sure to write on his card, he's anxious, but he's good. Usually. Come on, bud. No, 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 we're not doing that. That's not safe. You're okay. Off. For God's close that door. Good boy. I have really anxious dogs today. So Henry's owner just picked him up, said, so what exactly are you experiencing? I just told her, um, as soon as I tried to cut his nails, you know, he tried to bite. I muzzled him and then he continued to try to bite and was just not letting me, come on, buddy, you gotta turn, you gotta turn just was not letting him, me touch him. Easy. Okay. Zoom groom? I don't think he has a ton. Yeah, he doesn't have any. Come here. Come here. Okay. I'm going to get this side wet first. Maybe not. Always get the dog all the way wet. People are going to start showing up in a minute. It's almost 11. If you see my watch time, it's wrong, so don't go off of it. There you go. Gotta turn. Turn, turn, turn. I'm gonna scoop it. There you go, bud. Pretty dirty.
Good boy. You stop pulling. Make sure you get all the soap out. Okay. Come on. There you go. Come on. The reason why I sprayed that on there is so I don't have to turn him again when I'm drying him. Okay. Big towel. I love that this company gives us a mix of thin towels and super thick towels. Cause the thick towels are great for the big dogs. So we don't have to use like four. Okay. So this is Snickers, first time doing this dog. So I, it, the dog's, I'm gonna deem the dog unpredictable um, because I have not done it before. I'll take this slowly. Good. Yeah, okay. You're okay. Very, very long quicks. Uh, the owner requested this dog be as short as it could all over. It is a farm dog.
I'm doing so well. So they usually give this dog medication. The first time we do not recommend medication so we can see how the dog is going to react without it and then determine if the dog actually needs it. This dog does not need medication. I really don't understand why vets are so quick to prescribe meds. Henry, yes, needs meds. But I keep forgetting to close that door. Close it before I bathe. Okay, I got people that are going to start coming in any minute. So I'm going to try to get her, her, yeah, try to get her done and bathed before they start coming in. 15. Do a short sanitary all the way up. So this dog is going to be shaved at the request of the owner. And the reason I'm saying at the request of the owner is because I want to make it clear we don't shave dogs just to be shaving dogs. Most of the time it's because the owner wants their dog short. So sorry, I forgot to shut that door. Shut it, just a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's trying to play. He wants to play with some dogs so bad up here, but we don't know how the dogs interact with other dogs. And so that's why we don't like just let the dogs run around because that's liability. If a dog injures another dog, it's not good. Okay, bath time. I think someone just pulled in, so I'm gonna bathe this girl real quick. Priminator shampoo. I know. So when I'm here by myself, sometimes the door does not ding. So if I think someone's coming in, I'll just say, be right with you or something so they know that I know they're here every like five minutes or something. Water. In case of a super dry coat. Be right with you. No one's there, but I'd rather them, you know, I'd rather me say that every five minutes than for someone to be waiting on me and not be acknowledged. Okay, rinse.
this way. Be right with you. <sighs> okay. Batman usually tells me when there's someone up there. Okay, Shoshin. second round of dogs is starting to come in. It is 11 o'clock. I have Birdie that is dry. Wrangler's drying. Winston is dry. Um, this is Lewis. He's getting pretty short. Uh, these two are just Babs. One's Coco and the other one is Izzy. Wrangler is still drying and uh, Winston is still drying. So as soon as the other two dogs come in, I will get started on bathing these guys. So on Birdie, last time what was done was a 5.8. I am gonna have to go shorter because there is some matting that is starting to happen and we don't want that. So I'm gonna do a 3.8 this time. We have to do what's best for the dog. Someone is probably gonna walk in in just a minute and then I'm gonna have to go help them. But I wanted to get started on her while I had time. Can't waste time when you're grooming. If there, you got 10 minutes, you gotta spend that 10 minutes working on a dog.
This tail is matted. So I am gonna have to go down shorter, down further on the tail than we usually would to get those mats out. And when we have to go shorter, we don't call and ask permission. We just do it and then we tell them, hey, we had to take it a little bit shorter because there was matting. Ninety-nine percent of the time, they're okay with it. Some people will trim the whole body and then go back with scissors. I like to do one leg at a time so I don't have to come back. It's finished. Okay, that leg is done. Pretty too much. A little bit of trimming. And turn. Small dogs take so much less time than big dogs. I'm going to trim this since it was matted at the top. I've been doing these guys for a while, Wrangler and Birdie. Okay. 
moved up here. Come here, you're okay. Come here, girlfriend. No, come here. I know, over there is so interesting, isn't it? No. 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 When I can just groom and I don't have to sit and explain everything, I can groom so much faster. There's been some comments about Rose needs to slow down and this and that. I can groom so much faster when I don't have to sit and explain everything. girlfriend. Why do you keep going that way? Girlfriend. I'm gonna stay here. No.
stop pulling. You're okay. Don't know where my other dogs are. No. Stand up. Okay. Always, always, always clean up around the ears. Helps prevent ear infections. This is not all ear hair. Stop. We're almost done, girl. We've done well. So to be very clear, this is not considered a shave. This is a groom. Come here. Okay, to switch to a 10. No, 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 we're not doing all that. Stop. Stop, Birdie, Birdie. Stop. 
mess up your whole room. Stop. No. Five seconds. There we go. Got it. Okay. Brush this down. What are you doing, Batman? Ba -da -da. Mess a little bit. Okay. And. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a bandana. Pick this one. She's gonna be done. I see a little bit back here that needs to be trimmed that I missed. Go ahead and fix it. No shame in going back and fixing if you miss something. Okay. And I'm gonna go put a bandana on her brother and then they'll be ready to go home. Okay, so this is Wrangler. I'm gonna put this up here. I know, you're okay. I'll get you out in just a minute. Get him out of here real quick. I'm gonna put Birdie in. Come here, bud, come here. Put Birdie in here. She is all done. He is all dry, so I'm gonna put this on him and then he'll go right back in the cage. And they're ready to go home. I'm gonna start bathing some of the dogs that just came in, get them drying while I finish the other ones. Come on, bud. No, 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 no. Good boy. Okay, so this is Lewis. Um, before I do him, I will let you know that I had two dogs that would, did not show up and unfortunately I didn't have their card on file so I won't be able to charge them for it. I told them we have a strict late show, no show policy and before they can rebook, they will have to prepay. So I, two dogs, I just lost $130. And that right there is why we require everyone to have a card on file is because that I could have had two other dogs in there that would have shown up. So I'm gonna get started on him. We're gonna start with the nails first. Whoa, 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 what are we doing? You're okay. Okay. So if I think a dog is going, a dog is going to be a safety risk as far as having, what are we doing? You're okay. We got to stay right here. As far as having equipment on the table, I'm gonna take it off. Oh man. That's some difficult dogs today. But it's okay, we get through. No, come here.
battery died. Come here. You're okay. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how we do this. I'm gonna put this down a little bit so I can reach over him. If you have a dog that's being difficult and it's the side that you can't, your worst side, you can go like this. Now we're going to get a 30 blade. What's on here? Ten. Paw pads are not that bad. You're okay. Bud. Come on, you're okay. You got this. Okay, switch to a 15. Okay, check the ears. why people call back to back. If I didn't answer the first time, I'm not gonna answer the second time. Can't leave the dog on the table. No, no, no. Okay. So they want really short. I'm gonna go ahead and trim in here a little bit. I'm not gonna dig because I don't want to damage in here. Just gonna get what I can. Okay. They want this real short. So I am going to do a seven right now before the bath so we can get this clean. No.
holding his tongue so we prevent it from being cut. Okay. I'm going to get him in the bathtub. <gasps> you need to go potty and go outside. And go outside. Go outside. All right. This is what I would call a greasy dog. So I am going to fill this cup all the way up with fresh shampoo. By fresh, I just mean, like, just put it in. Because sometimes we can use it again, wash another dog with what was in there. Not this dog. Let this warm up. He's a good boy. Okay, I'm gonna get him all wet. You can see that dog, this dog is dirty. So touchy. Oh, my Lanta. No. No. We're not doing all that, Lewis. I gotta get his head clean. Stop. Oh my gosh. I've got to hold his head to get this out. I'm not being mean, but he's got food or something stuck in here. Don't bite. No, we're not going to bite. You're okay, bud. You're gonna get all the soap out. Okay, after this dog. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna take a break. About a 10, 15 minute break, eat something, and then I will resume baiting. You're okay. Gotta get that rinsed out though. 
All right. His tail will definitely need to be trimmed. Get a thick towel because he has a long coat. Come on. Oh. I'm assuming he won't like the dryer, so. That man is enjoying the outside. It is a warm day today. It's about 80, This is Coco and she is a Cavalier. Um, th this one and the one that goes with this one is just getting a bath and then we're gonna trim the nails, you know, do all the basics and then trim around the feet on her. So start with the nails. You're okay. Birdie and Wrangler were just picked up. All right, do the sanitary trim. Huh. 15.
These are Rose's dogs that followed her over here, so I'm just trying to do what they would normally, what they would normally get. I don't know about this in here. It's, it's matted. Yeah, all this in here is matted. I'm just gonna have to cut it out. It's gonna be hidden, you won't be able to see it. That's why I always come in here and do this. Stand up, girl, you gotta stand up. Always recommend on these long dogs where you're not going to see it anyway to shave this out. See, all that in there is just matted. Let's see if I can brush it out. Yeah. Come on, you guys, stand up. Stand up. No, it's not gonna brush out. It's gonna have to be cut out. Don't do dematting, it's painful. That's what the risk is with these longer dogs. Like to keep that inside of that leg shaved and then, I mean, you can't even tell. So. I was matted. All this is matted. And then when she's all, when the hair's all down, you won't even be able to tell. But when you have long dogs like this, if you don't brush them every day, everywhere, they do run the risk of getting matted. And so I highly recommend, like this tail, I'm gonna leave it because it's Rose's, you know, client and I don't know where, what to do. Usually what I would do is I would find the end of the tail and I would cut it because when this is dragging all over the floor, it's picking up stuff, it's matting. Okay. so sweet. I got to text Rose and ask her how short to go on the feet. If it's just like a regular feet trim or gets left a little bit longer or what. Sweet girl. There we go. Push out these ears and then I'm going to go get her in the tub, get her bathed and then work on the other one that goes with this dog.
Come here. Help the ear breathe a little bit better. matting in here, right here. Okay, so that's a trick I learned. If you just do one snip with some chunkers, um, you'll usually be able to get out those mats in the ears if they're not too bad, and then you really won't be able to tell that it was there. Do the paw pads real quick. The 30 blade. Bathe this one, bathe the next one, and then I gotta get get on Winston and get him finished. Okay, bath time. Just letting the water warm up.
get a big towel. Be right with you. So this is Izzy. I apologize, I left that door open again. We're just gonna have to go with it because I gotta get this girl bathed. Do we need a muzzle? No bite, no, we don't bite. All right. You're okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
nails are really long. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. You're okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and trim around these feet so when she gets done drying it's she's done Yes, this is a 30. I'm not going super close. Okay, they wanted me to trim this up here. Okay, bath time. No.
Come on, go get you dry. Off. No, stop. Okay. It's Winston's turn. All right, we're gonna get Winston finished. Once he's done, I'll feel a little bit, little bit better about time. Seven. But this is how fast we move. It's, grooming is very fast paced. You can't sit around and just dilly dally. Um, you know, you see these videos on YouTube of these cute little fluffy dogs and they're 
sitting there going like this on their face and gr real true grooming is not like that. And I think it really leads to a non-realistic view of what real actual grooming looks like. You know, we see these fluffy dogs, like I said earlier, on the National Dog Show. It's just, that's just not how real grooming goes. Stop. You're okay. You're fine. It's okay. And we do have difficult dogs. Not every dog just stands there and lets us groom them. Got to start getting some of these dogs finished. You're okay, Winston. Come this way. You're okay. Oh man, I hope tomorrow is not like this. So many anxious dogs today. It's crazy. You never have this many anxious dogs in one day. You're okay.
One thing I have not shown in this video today is bathroom breaks. We do take them on at least one bathroom break while they're here. Stay. Just the win, buddy. Oh, turn this way. Oh, come on. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, I'm gonna do his feet real quick. Hey bud, what you doing? Stop. Winston. Stop. Feet aren't gonna look perfect, but it's better than not being done at all. Come here. Bud. Stop.
Okay. I'm gonna get a 30 blade. Do a pretty short head. Why am I grabbing for those? Because they're out. Five eighths is my go-to on short summer cut on doodles. No. Stop. Got the links. Come here. Come here. No, stop. We have to hold this to control the head. If we just go in and we start cutting and they whip around, there's gonna be bad. Stop. I really need these to work. Come here. Come here. working only seem to work on thin hair really thick hair they struggle come here Winston oh you can't do that stop Winston. Are you 
wanting to play. Are you wanting to play with Batman? Huh? Winston. My goal is to get all of this out of his mouth. Stop. Mm -mm -mm Wondering if he's a puppy. Yeah, I'd say he's pretty young. Um, I need to take a seven real quick and clean up his neck and then he'll be done. Come here. Come here, please, mister. Okay. The ear cleaner I was, or the cream I was talking about is this. Two dabs of it. Come here. Talk to your vet before you use this. It's hydrocortisone. Neosporin body and a neosporin and an antifungal. Clean that one spot up. Come here. All right. This guy is 150. Prices are gonna be different everywhere. Here's gonna be less than New York. So, next dog. All right, I got this dog left to cut, and then I have Lewis, who's barking, left to cut, and then I have the two that were just baths. 
And that's it for the day. It is 1.13. They wanted short as possible, so that's what we're doing. This is a 10. I don't have any more, bud. I had a small bag of Cheez-Its. If you hear the door, it's the wind blowing it open. Went change to a seven. You can see how choppy it is. I'm just gonna do a reverse. Be a lot smoother. So thick. This right here is why we do not like shaving certain dogs. Um, <sighs> you're making me nervous. It just, sometimes it turns out choppy because this dog is not a dog that's supposed to be shaved. So sometimes we just have to tell them, hey, you know, sorry it's choppy, but This looks freaking terrible. Thank you. 
dog is just like the happiest dog ever. Are you just happy all the time? <sighs> I do want to try to even this up if the dog will tolerate it. But sometimes you just can't. I mean, it just doesn't want to cooperate. This way. Okay. Oh, this looks terrible. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. And just hear how thick it is. No. No. Watch two claws when you're going in reverse. No. This is the worst hair to cut. It's the ones that cause hair splinters. Coarse terrier hair. Okay. Um, it doesn't look the best, but it is what it is. It's the coat texture. That's why we recommend certain haircuts for certain dogs. 
because we know it's going to look bad. Um, but they wanted short all over, so. Stop. Take ten. What you doing, bud? Dog is not the easiest to groom either. Oh my gosh, this looks so bad. This is why we recommend certain haircuts. This dog should have been left a lot longer.
freaking terrible. Stop. All right, next dog. Okay, Izzy is all dry. He's going to brush. I texted Winston's owners and Snickers owners down. Okay. And she's all done. I'm gonna trim this just a little bit better. No. <sighs> all right, Coco's turn. Sprayed some Shoshin on her.
ears are on the verge of being matted. Brush the tummy and then she'll be all ready to go home. <gasps> Do you know what that means? She's ready to go home. Okay, so I'm gonna get this guy done. Last dog to do, three eights. Last time it was a five eight and they wanted shorter. Going to switch the blade that's under this because that's not cutting right. Needs to be sharpened. Nope. I have said in quite a few videos, you know, about the dog's weight, and I've gotten a lot of hate for it for some reason, but the weight of the dog has a lot to do with grooming. The, the more obese the dog, the harder they are to groom because one, they don't want to stand as long, they may just want to sit down the whole time. The reverse is also true. If we have a super skinny dog and they're literally just bones, it's hard to get an even cut because of the boniness. So maintaining a healthy weight for dogs does help with grooming. hear them Batman. So like on this dog, it doesn't want to stand. It it's doesn't like what I'm doing. So it, this dog is higher than what it would usually be because I have to do a lot of hand scissoring.
No. Stop, buddy. Come on. Let's get this done. Come here, bud. No.
stop, bud. Oh, my Lanta, come on. No. I'm glad you're my last dog. Had you been my first, you would have set the mood for the day. Okay. Most dogs you go like this, but some dogs you have to go with it. I like shorter ears on most dogs. Just keeps them, you know, maintained, less likely to, to not mat. So windy. We're in Oklahoma. I mean, but I'll be right with you. Hang on, bud. And go see who it is. And go see who it is. Okay. 
Okay, totally did not hear her come in. Ears are so hard to get even. Stop. No. Stop. Good boy. What? Batman. Do not try this as a beginner groomer. You are guaranteed to cut this tongue. But we want to get that as short as possible around there. Nope. Stop. This hair is blending very nicely with these chunkers. Finish the rest of this body. Oh my goodness. Stop, stop.
it's just gonna be the best I can do. Um, he's a pretty difficult dog to do. No, no, no. Yes, I could put him in the little sling thing and get him done, but he's my last dog. I don't wanna spend, you know, 10 minutes trying to hang him up and lower the table and do all that when I can use that time to just scissor. Bitey, huh? Oh, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on. We got this. We got this. Let's get done. No. Making me so nervous. Okay. I'm gonna call it good. Um, he's not perfect, but I'm not gonna, you know, like I always say, I'm not gonna risk injury to him to make it perfect. His face is short and that's the main thing they wanted was his mouth trimmed short. So after I get him done, I will text his owners and then I will start cleaning up for the day. I do not do all of the cleaning in the evening when I'm done. I'm tired, I'm ready to go home. I like to come in when I'm fresh and then do the rest of the cleaning. Rose is the opposite. She wants to come in and it be done. Um, it just is gonna depend on your preference. I will vacuum all this, 
towels up, etc. But like the deep cleaning, the vacuuming, the rugs, the mopping, I will do in the morning. So that is where I'm going to end this video. It's a been a really long video anyway. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I try to answer everyone's questions. It's just not possible. I get thousands, literally thousands of comments every day. And so see you guys next time.